Hello YouTube. All right, so I got my 09 Chrysler Town and Country Touring 3.8 liter V6. Uh, doing the brakes right now. I just got these bad boys, drilled and slotted rotors for the race van. These are SRT tires I ride on, so naturally I need high performance brakes for the minivan. So I got the tire off, got the brake caliper off here, and just wanted to quickly show you guys. I did these brakes. Here's ceramic pads. I did these about 40,000 miles ago, and we got our use out of them. There's no pad left. Unfortunately, we held off a little too long. I mean, there's barely. There's some pad left. See it there? Um, pretty evenly worn down. I mean, that's that's all the way to the metal. This is, I mean, you're talking a sixteenth of an inch at most. So, now same goes for this side here. Pretty similar. So you got flush down to the metal. Right here is about maybe just under a sixteenth of an inch. So, I, you know, I definitely let them go too far. I, I normally don't do that. Anyway, I got to get this rotor off and uh, just figured I would quickly show you what I'm going to do because it's caked on there. It's only been about two years since I did these. And I guess you just lose track of how much you actually end up driving in that time. So, got to get this thing off. Uh, northwest Wisconsin here, we get a lot of salt, as you can see. I mean, look at that rust. It's really unfortunate. Um, so, yeah, here's what I got to do. All right, so we're just going to take our old friend here, Mr. Hammer, and just uh, kind of beat the hell out of the rotor. Hey, look at that. Look at all that sand. So they do use sand up here, too. That's pretty neat stuff, huh? Look at that. I know I don't have gloves on, but you know what? I just got my tetanus shot, like, I don't know, in the fall? So... Uh, normally I wouldn't pound that with a hammer right here if you're gonna reuse the rotor, which I'm not they're warped um, You know, I'd just like to change them. Yeah, I could get them shaved down, but with the rest we get uh, There's not much left. So what good is it gonna do me to try and extend this rotor's life another two years when it's just gonna Hollow out on the center and fall apart which happens. So I got this rotor here ready to come off Normally I would have hit it in the center around the hub if I was planning on reusing it, but again, I'm not so uh, here we have the hub, wheel bearing, look at that. It's only a matter of time. Always, I can't spin, it's not neutral, I'm stupid. I was gonna say, always give it a good spin to check out the wheel bearing, but I'm not gonna bother doing that right now. So let's, uh, let's open this up, see how it goes. All right, so I didn't show you the opening, I had to, um, ex excuse me, um, I had to put my camera down. Uh, this came with a little sticker with an R on it, on the bag. That's for the right side, passenger side. Yeah, for the left side. They're directional. You don't want to put drilled and slotted rotors on backwards. See the way they're cut? You don't want it the other way. I don't know why, honestly. It probably eats up the brake pads a lot faster. Maybe it doesn't cool off as much. I genuinely don't know. So if anybody knows and wants to comment, that'd be great. Um, I just slapped this on here real quick to show you what it's like. I'm going to get these brakes together in a minute. Really not a bad job, uh, despite the rust on here. Again, they were only done two years ago, so it's really not hard to get off. Uh, I'm going to take this back off real quick and put some lubricant behind it um behind here so the part that comes in contact with the hub isn't going to seize up to it and I, th I think that's why this wasn't so hard to get off here even though it's i mean you can see the salt on there it's just eating it away anyway so i'm gonna get this back on get it all buttoned up and uh be ready for a drive all right here we have the finished product obviously the tire isn't on i just gotta pump the brakes make sure this is good to go uh, just bled them up here. Uh, normally you start with the uh, rear, it'd be in this case the rear passenger side, so you get all that dirty fluid out toward the back because it's all in here, all inside the van. Master cylinder is up there on the driver's side, so you want it to be as far away from the brake booster master cylinder as possible to get that dirty fluid out. Um, look, it's it's my van, I know the brakes are awesome on it. So I'm not entirely too worried about uh, getting it all out there. And this isn't a tutorial or this is exactly how you should do it kind of a video. Uh, I just wanted a quick show these rotors on here. Uh, these are ceramic pads. You know, I'll put the link to these parts in the description below because I scored these on Amazon for 90 bucks. Two drilled and slotted rotors, front, you know, front and right. Uh, right and left, I mean, along with the ceramic pads. I'll see how they hold up, how they do, but uh, the reviews are really good on them. So... You know, we'll see what happens. And, you know, if you like this, 
want to see more stuff done to the sport minivan i mean I, i'm all for it so why not uh, i'm gonna put this tire on here real quick show you the end result and stop the video all right there you have it uh all in all this took about 20 25 minutes for me to do because i had to stop and and work with the video i tried to clean these wheels up and ooh, they did not want to clean up so that's kind of a bummer gonna have to look for some good wheel cleaner try and scrub these things off shine them up again see the problem is all winter long I don't scrub these things. It's too cold out, and I mean it's too cold out when it gets down to minus 30, minus 35. I mean, most of the time it's zero or colder. I'm not going outside and scrubbing wheels. Screw off with that. My garage isn't heated either. I need to get a heater. I know. And insulation. Anyway, there they are. SRT Touring Chrysler down the country. Look at that. So the rear drilled and slotted rotors and pads are going to be showing up tomorrow. No, I couldn't wait. These pads were that bad, I had to get them on. So, uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, it doesn't matter if it's torque to spec or cross threaded, tight is tight.